Our relations have grown significantly after the adoption of economic reforms in India and Australian participation in the Asian revival. The shift of gravity towards Asia has brought India and Australia relations into closer focus. We both had relatively robust growth despite the global economic slowdown. We cooperated closely in EAS, G20, IORA, and other fora. Further, we are working together to strengthen the regional integration in the emerging Asian century. We have seen that India has grown as a factor in Australian analysis and policy making. There's also a recognition of the growing complementarities in our partnership. For us, Australia is a major supplier of resources, particularly energy, necessary for our development needs. Both sides seek to further strengthen and add substance to our strategic partnership and develop an enduring partnership. Uh, on bilateral relations, some of the main features that stand out, as I mentioned, Australia is a major source of resources necessary for our economic development. Uh, we get coal, gold, copper, diamond, zinc, and others, and it can emerge as a source of uranium and gas. In fact, we have signed a contract for long-term supply of gas from the Gorgon field of Australia. Indian investments in Australia are particularly in the resource sector, and they've grown over time, totaling over $10 billion. And there are many more that are in the pipeline. There is also interest in Australia to engage in our resources sector, including in exploration, supply of machinery, and of technologies. Prime Minister Gillard's visit to India in 2012 had seen the commencement of civil nuclear energy negotiations. We have had five rounds of negotiations till the, since then, which have been very productive. Our economic engagement is a major pillar of this partnership. Trade and investments are strong and are poised for further growth, just as our growth in both our countries pick up. Negotiations for SICA are ongoing, and we've had five rounds of SICA negotiations. We both seek better market access for mutual benefit and to create an environment that is conducive to business and investments. Thank you.